So I was born the youngest of three. My family was very close-knit uh, growing up. My father worked for Exxon, so we moved quite a bit. I was born in Baltimore, but we spent a lot of time in my childhood in the Texas area as well as on the East Coast. When I came back for high school, I wanted to go back to the East Coast for um, my undergraduate degree. So I went to Howard University. I spent great four years uh, at the Mecca and then returned to Houston for medical school. And I stayed here. I met my husband and started my family and my practice. Since my interest in medicine began, I've always been attracted to surgery. I enjoyed the idea of being able to really go to the operating room, heal people, fix people, kind of an immediate gratification. I enjoyed the challenge of surgery. I enjoyed anatomy. I really enjoyed seeing the body up close and personal. It definitely combines my love of medicine and, and aesthetics, so I'm able to kind of restore beauty, enhance beauty through surgery, uh, and immediately see patients' uh, outcomes on the table, and afterwards, response and reaction to their improvement in their body and their life is really rewarding and what keeps me going. So the road to plastic surgery is not an easy one. I spent seven years in residency, so the first Five years of residency I was spent in general surgery and I spent about 100 hours a week in the hospital. I would spend the night, um, I worked 36 hour shifts. I didn't see my husband very frequently. It's a five year program and about two and a half years in, I kind of was like, I'm done. I, I can't do this anymore. The hardest part was being exhausted, missing out on so many things that happened in, in the world. They call you a resident because you are a resident of the hospital. So I lived pretty much in a hospital for seven years. After I got through that initial challenge of just kind of hard work, I never really turned back. I mean, I, I was committed to plastic surgery. I love what I do. Um, I can't imagine not going to the operating room. I, I love the fact that I've been able to build my own practice and develop my own brand. I've worked for myself since I graduated and I can't imagine doing it any other way. It, it has been hard, um, but I've been able to really be the boss and be in complete control of my destiny. I was the first African-American female plastic surgeon in the state of Texas. I have been on the board of directors for Sisters Network for over 10 years. It's the only national organization for African-American women survivors. So for me, I've been able to give back on an individual level, but I've also showed young women that you can be successful, that you can build your own brand, that you can be the first person to go out there and to blaze a trail, no matter what it is. Um, you know, probably 50 years ago, the idea of a woman plastic surgeon, of a black woman plastic surgeon was very foreign. Um, but now I, I have young girls that call or write and they, they say they wanna be a plastic surgeon or they wanna be a, in medicine and they wanna pursue their dreams. And so for me, that is what keeps me motivated to work hard, is just to continue to be a role model, to continue to impact my patients' lives. And, you know, really, I'm having a great time doing it, so it's, it's been a wonderful journey.